Hello, so in this video we're going to look at how to cross-compile from Linux to Windows. I've got Linux Ubuntu running on a laptop and I'm going to compile my Rust code and transfer it to a Windows PC and see if it works. So here are the steps which I took and I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video. I tried that and it did a cargo build, downloaded some crates, the WinAPI, six. Well, got this error at the end, error, linker, x86 underscore 64, blah, 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 mini GW, GCC not found. So then I checked something else on Stack Overflow and I saw this. I kind of suspected this much that I needed to install GCC min GW, W64. So run this command. I'll put these commands in the description of this video, just in case you have the same problem. And once all of this was installed, I was then able to do cargo build dash dash target space x86 underscore 64 dash pc dash windows dash gnu. Compiling finished. So then I noticed that I had a x86 directory inside target. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to copy that cross onto my old Windows PC and then I'm going to see if my code actually runs. So we'll check that next. Six debug and I'm just going to copy that one file because I think that should be all I need. Not like the old days hopefully where you had to copy loads of DLLs and stuff. So I'm just going to paste it so, what I'd actually written, just as a bit of a backstory, I had found a page on Medium with some code for creating a blockchain. I copied that and tweaked it very, very slightly in Rust on Linux. I compiled the code in VS Code in Linux. Or rather, I did it actually for the command line. If you remember the command, it was um, cargo build. And what this is doing is it's creating a blockchain with four blocks. And each, can, each block has got a reference to the previous. And also, I've been adjusting the difficulty, which if you're familiar with Bitcoin, there's a difficulty adjustment. Um, the default difficulty in the code was just to look for one zero. I increased the difficulty. So with the difficulty, basically you're trying to solve a hash and find a hash that's got a certain number of zeros at the start. The code I found was looking for one. I've modified it to look for a hash with three at the start. So that makes it, how should we say, more rare. And then it took 2,776 attempts to find a hash with three zeros. And obviously, the this is just thousands of hashes. But the actual Bitcoin blockchain is up to, I think it's exahashes, which is 10 to the power of 15, I think. can't remember. But it's immense. And this is proof of work. So the proof of work is basically a record of how many attempts, how many hashes were made to find a solution which met the criteria of having three zeros at the start. 